Welcome to The Vine Daily. Today, Trap Pastor Q and myself will continue our discussion on the enemies of faith. So, uh, Trap Pastor, we talked about the, the enemies of faith called fear. Right, right, right. But then, you know, we promised the folks that we were going to talk about the mind. So we better okay, talk okay. about the mind. Let's talk about so, it. Um, so, Q, how um, does fear interact with the mind? Okay, so the mind is where fear resides, right? Um, and if you're, if if the if fear can get your thought process off about how you are to engage this thing that God brings to you or whatever is in your life, then it can deter, it can distract, it can derail. Now, how I engage it is this: let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. So that's how I really settle my mind down. And when I'm getting off into fear or even out of character or thinking out of pocket or anything like that, I always, the Holy Spirit always hit me with that scripture, that the mind be, that this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So I have to sit back and think like, okay, man, how was, how did Christ think about this thing? Or based on scripture, how Jesus dealt with certain situations and instances, how did he approach it? So I have to adopt that mentality, that mindset to engage fear or to engage whatever it is to keep me on point and in good biblical standards. That is that is absolutely amazing, and here's why: um, because if the if the enemy can get into your mind, yes, sir. he can change your whole structure of how you see what God is going to get uh, is going to do or what God is going to do for you. He can change your whole outlook, and by thinking that something isn't going to happen or by thinking that uh, uh, God isn't going to do what he said he's going to do, then you'll start believing that and you'll start acting the same way. So he has changed your whole deal just by getting into your mind. Right. And so you have to engage um, with him. And one of the things that, that we, we alluded to over and over again is that engagement piece. And in, by engaging, what we do is we go to the scriptures, right, right, and right. then we meditate, right, and right. then you know we 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 pray and and we talk about the uh, to God, and He gives us the direction on how to go with that. So the Bible is clear in saying, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding, thine own mind, right. but acknowledge Him in all and thy ways. ways." And guess what He's going to do, Q? He's going to direct your path. That's right, right. He's going to put you in the place that you're supposed to go. So we got to do those things such as prayer and meditation and studying God's word in order to keep Satan and, and to battle Satan from taking control of our mind. Does that make sense to you? That makes a lot of sense, sir. And, uh, it's, and it's three things that the enemy does. He, he, he tries to interject our minds through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. I always come back and say the other two. This is this is pretty funny. There's really only two things that Satan can do to you. He can tempt you right. or he can accuse you. That's the only arsenal that he has. Right, right. And both of those things work inside of the mind. Inside the so mind. we are talking about those things and, and Satan is accusing you. Oh, you ain't who you say you are. Tell him that the Bible says, just like Christ says, for it is written that the Bible says that I have the mind of Christ. Right. You understand what yes, I'm sir. saying? Yes, and that's, yes, that's the, the great thing that we have weapons that we can come back against. We just need to come back against him with the word, with our prayers, and with our meditations. Man, we can keep this thing going forever in a day and whatnot. I know we got a time limit. Right. So come back tomorrow where we'll talk about um, how righteousness and the lack and the unbelief in the fact that you are righteous will um, affect the, the, your faith. Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. Man. Let's do it, sir. All right.